Hello folks, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about the topic of secrets getting leaked into your public domain. Recently I was involved in a security breach incident where one of our accounts got breached because there was a developer who was not experienced and committed the access keys and secret keys into the Git repository. Today I'm going to show you how you can avoid such kind of scenarios in your company and also make sure your Git repositories does not have any code which will have the secret keys and access keys pre-configured there. It might be a poor security practice, it might be an inexperienced developer doing it or inadvertently somebody tries to fix a problem and incorporates those keys into the Git repository. How you can avoid all those things? Amazon has made it easy for us to make sure such a scenario doesn't happen. They have written a nice GitHub tool which will help us to scan the code before getting committed into the repository and it will highlight you saying that these are the files that are having the secrets and do you want to modify them. Let us go ahead and see how we can configure this in our account and avoid these kind of scenarios. This is the GitHub repository for the package that we are going to use. It is called as Git Secrets. We are going to install it into our developer machine. We are going to scan a code which already has some secret keys and access keys into the settings files and credentials files and see whether this code is able to help us identify those keys and let us know that there are some bad configurations or poor security practices and let us know in advance so that we avoid that kind of scenarios. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to clone this repository into my machine and then target it to scan my repository. So let us go ahead and do that. Now we have cloned the repository. Let us get into the git secrets folder and then we are going to do an install here. So it is as simple as doing make install and if everything is successful we will be able to run a git secrets command like this. I am using an Amazon AMI to make things easier for myself so that my developer is having all the necessary tools. Our git secrets are installed and I have already pre set up application where some configuration files are there and some credentials files are there. I am calling it my web app. You can have it at any other location. You just need to go ahead and scan the repository that you have. Before we go ahead and scan there is one more step we are going to say. We are going to inform git that it is going to look for AWS credentials and the command for that is the command looks like this git secrets hyphen hyphen register aws and if you make it as global then it will start scanning for all the repositories in your developer machine or if you don't want to do the global one you can go ahead and mention which repository you want to look for so let us configure it for global let us go to our repository where there is poor code and let us go ahead and scan it you can see here there are two files one is cred json and then settings.ini and then the repository was able to identify the json file is having the secret key and access key and likewise the settings files also has the secret key and access key. It highlights you that these keys are not good practices and if it is a known issue you can suppress them or if you want to make it global configurations it gives you all the recommendations there. You can incorporate it into a lambda function so that all your repositories can be scanned or whenever the commit request is coming the lambda function can scan for the keys and then reject the commit request or send a notification to the developer saying the repository is having secret key and access key and that is not a best practice go ahead and modify it and then try to make a commit again. This way you can enforce good behavior and make sure your account is more secure. We can avoid breaches in the future. If you have any problems in setting this up in your account go ahead and put them in the comment section. I'll try to help them with you. If you like our video go ahead and like them subscribe to our channel and share it with your colleagues so that we all can learn from each other. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.